The Vita stove, developed by Dr. Samuel Baldwin in the late 80s, has been used for decades across West Africa. The stove design is simple and requires few materials and little experience to build. The stove body and fire grate are constructed from a piece of sheet metal and steel bars are used to support the pot over the fire. Tin snips, a drill or punch, and a screwdriver are needed to build this simple stove. The various steps for building a Vita stove will be demonstrated here in this short instructional video. The Vita stove body is a simple cylinder of sheet metal that creates a small gap around the outside of the pot. Using tin snips, cut out a rectangular hole in the center of the sheet metal slightly above the bottom edge. This will be the fuel entrance. Next, cut and bend in at 90 degrees four tabs along the bottom edge of the cylinder. These tabs will support the fuel grate and allow primary air to enter the stove from below the fire. Six slots will need to be cut out for the pot supports which will be inserted later. The stove body can now be joined together by overlapping the ends of the sheet metal and drilling holes for fasteners. The pot is submerged into the stove body and the flames and hot gases are forced to contact the sides as well as the bottom of the pot. Starting with a piece of sheet metal slightly larger than the diameter of the stove body, drill or punch a grate of one quarter inch holes staying away from the edges of the circle. This piece will be cut out to fit snugly into the stove and will hold the burning fuel. You may need to make slight adjustments for a secure fit. Push the fuel grate down into the stove so it is resting on the tabs near the bottom. The last step is to insert three steel bars into the six pre-cut slots. This material must be sturdy and be able to support the weight of a full pot. Your Vita stove is now complete and ready to be lit. Fill the pot with food or water, gather some kindling and fuel wood, and test out your new stove. You will notice that it is not necessary to overstuff the combustion chamber. A small but lively fire is adequate to bring the pot to boil. Because the hot gases from the stove are forced through the small gap between the stove body and the pot, heat is more effectively transferred into the pot, making the stove faster to boil and more fuel efficient. The Vita stove can bring 5 liters of water to boil in less than 15 minutes using approximately 360 grams of wood. Because this stove does not incorporate a chimney, the Vita stove should only be used outdoors in a well-ventilated area. To learn more about the Vita stove and other designs for improved cooking and heating stoves on the web, go to www.apravecho.net slash stoves.